couple weeks ago I had a lamb with a broken leg. The ham bomb in a minute. Yep. They look strong. They're not. <laughs> They're old. Good morning. It is Monday and it is also vlog number 300. I've done 300 videos and I just want to start off by saying thank you for being here. I mean, however you found my channel, however I kept you watching, um, I am truly, truly blessed and a little bit blown away. Uh, the channel, the channel has grown a lot this year, and uh, it's it's not without a lot of hard work and analyzing the channel and digging pretty deep into how to reach more of you. And I'm so grateful that these woolly little creatures that I get to see every single day that bring me so much joy and so much happiness also brings brings you to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I think the channel just turned three years old, um, beginning of May, beginning of this month, and I didn't even celebrate it. There's been so many milestones that I haven't celebrated, and I'm realizing now that uh, they come and go, and if you don't celebrate them, you're just always moving the bar up, and then you're never satisfied with how far you've come. It's been a lot of work on top of just farming and showing all the ways you screw up to literally millions of viewers. <laughs> so it, it can be very, very humiliating, very humbling, but um, I'm willing to do it even if it just helps one farmer or one sheep farmer that's just beginning their journey. Hello. This is a bottle baby pen of the group that lambed uh, beginning in April. They, I weaned them on Thursday, I believe. So they've been on just water and feed. They need to get out of this pen and they need to go across the road where I've cleaned out a nice spot for them. And uh, so I'm going to do that today and I do need a second person to help me load those. So Jess will help me, help me do that. Another little part of feeding that I didn't maybe touch on, and I should, is for every pen that I have, a lactating pen where I have the, the ewes and the babies, I usually try to have a little area that I call a creep area, and it's a spot where the lambs can go by themselves, eat their own grain, not, not the grain that the ewes can get, but their own, their own uh, special custom-made 
feed uh, water that they've already drank this morning because they're thirsty and it's hot. Uh, some farmers actually, ha instead of having an area, because it does take up a lot of space in a, in a limited space in a barn, uh, what some farmers do, there are some creep feeders that the space is only big enough for the lamb to eat and the mums can't fit their noses in it. So that's another option if you're tight, if you're tight space, is to just get a creep feeder. Um, I like this if there's room, only because it gets them used to not being with mum. And, and it gets, to use, gets them used to drinking water, uh, eating their feed, grain, pellet. So when I transfer them over to the barn across the road, which we'll go to next, uh, so when I wean them, that stress of being away from mom and getting on their own feed and knowing what this feed is, is just a lot less. And I just find they transition a lot quicker. Okay, feeding is done. There's a couple things I noticed. And for all of you that have been following me, a couple weeks ago, I noticed that I have a ewe that went blind. And I think she had pink eye. I treated her. Let's go see Betty. Okay, here's Betty. Pink. Look at that. I can, start, I can start to see the pupil on the, under the bottom. I think. I think. Even if it's just the... Yeah. They're coming. That is a huge relief. The other little thing I wanted to show you guys. A couple weeks ago I had a lamb with a broken leg. And if you have broken legs on lambs, they are fixable. So don't freak out. I mean freak out because that's what I do. But you can fix them. I have, I have a little, I have a little system. Okay, I have the lamb with the broken leg. So let's check it and see how it's doing. So I just use vet wrap. Put vet wrap under. I'll show you. There's a vet wrap layer over top. You're fine. Okay. And then I use either a paint roller or like some hard cardboard. I've got a video on when I put this one on her, so we'll just see if it worked. And then I put a layer of vet wrap on the bottom so it doesn't rub. And the brake was up above its joint, so it was high. That's why I had to demobilize the whole leg as much as I could. So we'll see if it... If it didn't fix, then I'll have to... I'll have to redo it. So we'll see. And it'll be wobbly because it's been not used. Kind of like when we break a leg. I should know, I broke my humerus. Not using it yet. Once it gets used to the fact that it's not wrapped up, I'm hoping. So yeah, it went, uh, it jumped, it ran to the back, jumped up on the ledge and moved into this pen. No. Okay, I caught the little devil. So I just wanted to show you her leg here, just a sec. Okay, so this is where the brake was, up here, up here, and I think it's, I think it's I mean the bone feels kind of I see in comparing to this one. It's definitely a bit like thicker So there maybe is there's some like I don't know calcium buildup or something or inflammation but 
I think it mu it's going to work, I think. But I'll keep you posted. So that was a break way up here. And those are hard breaks, but it is possible if you demobilize that leg as soon as you see it. And it was an older lamb. Like, this lamb is probably six weeks old. So, you're welcome. Now, I typically, once feeding in the big barn is done, I would go and check my uh, finishing lambs across the road and do chores over there. I'll walk you through it here and then just show you over there what I'm doing. But basically, I top up their hay, sweep up their hay a little bit that they can reach it, bed them if needed, any observations that need taken, and then the rest is all automatic. I press a button and the corn and the pellet mixes together, fills the feeders, the feeders are auto feeding, and I can usually have them filling while I'm actually doing those chores. So again, that is maybe 10 minutes. That didn't take long at all because uh, Carissa had them all bedded up from yesterday, so they look really good. And there's not many lambs in here. That makes a huge difference. The, the, every week as I'm taking lambs out, there's less and less animals in the pen. You don't have to bed near as much. The fans are keeping up, the curtains are open, everything's just delightful. Bedding and hay, dry hay and bedding just stays in that center alley. I just find it's easier. I just throw the straw over onto the top of them and let them spread it out. So bedding might take five minutes, five to ten minutes, depending on how much needs done. We keep on top of it, so then when you do actually go to do the job, it's not that it's, it doesn't take that long. Uh, but of course, if the barn's totally full, so I'm only half full right now. I've got nothing on this side. Uh, when the barn is right full, it takes a little bit longer. But for the most part, with the auto feeders, I can get everything done while the feeders are filling the feeders, and so just more efficiencies. Now on with the random jobs of the day. Jack is actually helping me wean the bottle babies, which should be interesting. Jack does not do good in the heat and it is hot right now, considering I was in a toque last week. So those uh, yeah, 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 that seems Have like a disaster. Okay, I'm gonna leave my pop here and forget about yeah, it. Yeah, can you put my sunglasses there? Okay, are you ready? So if you stand there. Just get ready. I might. Um, what's. We're just uh, hand bombing them in? Yep. Or? How's that, buddy? Yeah, I'll give you a nice little one. This is my favorite one, but it's not great. <laughs> He's a baby. Come on. Oh, this is so light. Some of them. This one's a nice one. Oh. 
Okay, I ran over and filled a couple pails of water, uh, four pails, two here and two at the next water bowl. And I just circle the water bowl and just keep refilling this. So they associate the pails with, when they run dry, hopefully they'll keep trying to get this. So the problem is they gotta figure out how to use this. So. Other than that, they look like they're settling in nice. Just finished some lunch, so now I'm going to take these all off and take everything out of this creep area and then open it up to all those ewes because this week, this week or next week, I'd like to clean this whole side out because this is the side they're gonna lamb in, this, these two groups. What I'm probably gonna do is, is what I like to have extra jobs for Carissa so she can have more hours when she works for me. When it gets to these slow periods, there's not a lot of work for her to do. So she cleans the barn all the time, but I like to leave her jobs like cleaning the hoses, cleaning, cleaning these, um, all these pails and everything ready just for the next lambing group. Likely in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have hay done. We're gonna be starting to lamb. I gotta get this barn cleaned out. I should be getting the pen across the road cleaned out the beef barn because I really wanted to put my rams over there. So there's all of a sudden, there's an overwhelming amount of work that uh, needs to get done. Well, someone took my job for the afternoon. I was going to do that, but I don't have to do it now. I forget I have help. So the day has kind of got away from me, but I have been uh, quite busy. We, I helped Mark fill up the planter. He is planting white beans today. We got our black beans in yesterday. No, we got our black beans in Saturday and he is working on a pretty big chunk of white beans right now. We have just barely missed two big storms. Uh, I've heard the thunder and it's gotten really dark but it just slipped south of us and it's going east uh, and on edible beans you don't want a real hard splash of rain right after you plant them especially in the heat or they bake the top bakes and then the little suckers can't get out of the ground so I think that was a blessing we just missed it I want to show you what I've been up to though and I need your advice um, I am NOT a gardener <laughs> I'm barely a sheep farmer but I tell you so everybody's been telling me to kind of use straw as mulch so I'll show you what I did I don't know if I'm right I'm gonna ask Mark next so I had an old bale, uh, old bale of straw. I weeded it all, like I hoed it, and then I put the straw as mulch. But is that what people mean? Or did people just mean like mulch where we're gonna walk? I'm a little confused. So I'm gonna ask Mark if I did that right. But yeah, I hoed what I think are the be beets. It looks like weeds, so I'm not sure. The beans haven't come up yet, uh, but I hoed the onions. So they look pretty good. I like it when you can row them. There's just two rows of potatoes. So they're coming. There's the carrots. I think I kind of got them rowed. It's so hard. They were so weedy. It looked like this. So I kind of had to guess which ones were carrots. I think I got them. The peas are a good example of how many weeds. So I got the weeds to each side, but these are twin row peas and see the mat of weeds in between, so I don't know what to do there. So yeah, my weed garden is growing. Well, I realized that I asked you guys about mulching my garden, and you're not gonna see this till tomorrow. So I went to Instagram. Mark said he didn't know, so he said it looks good, but he doesn't know. So I went to Instagram, and everyone there said, I'm doing it right. So I kept going, and now I can't feel my back and my arms and my legs, and I think I pulled a muscle in my bum, but I'm gonna show you what I did for the rest of the afternoon. It's like six o'clock. I just helped Mark load the planter again. The problem with white beans or any edible beans uh, and, a, and a planter with like seed boxes is you're filling it. We're filling it all the time. So between the garden and, and lifting those big bags. 
they look strong. They're not, <laughs> they're old. Okay, you've already seen the lettuce, so I just kept going. So here's the onions. That was my knee cracking. <laughs> and basically everything is just mulched up now. So we'll see if this works. Here's the potatoes, the carrots slash weeds and then the peas at the back. So you can see the garden starts to shade in. Uh, it's about, it's after six, I think. So it starts to shade in. Uh, west is, well, there's the sun, so west is there-ish. So it does shade in, but it's got full sun all day because that would be east right about there. 